Former President Donald Trump's legal woes are looking far from over. While he pleaded not guilty to trying to overturn the 2020 election in a D.C. courtroom yesterday, he could face a fourth indictment soon. In our Washington correspondent Rachel Knapp reports. In one of the most consequential cases the U.S. has ever seen, former President Donald Trump made his first court appearance on charges alleging he tried to overturn the 2020 election, which culminated into the January 6 U.S. Capitol attack. He pled not guilty to the four charges. When you look at what's happening, this is a persecution of a political opponent. This was never supposed to happen in America. This is Trump's third indictment this year. In New York, he faces 34 charges relating to a hush money case and falsifying business records. In Florida, he's accused of mishandling classified documents. But he could see a fourth indictment soon in Georgia. The Fulton County DA has been investigating for months into whether Trump and his allies illegally meddled in Georgia's 2020 election. While no official announcement of a fourth indictment has been made, crews have put up barriers around the Georgia courthouse most likely out of security concerns for a potential appearance. The Georgia Secretary of State claims Trump called him to help find enough votes to overturn his loss in Georgia, trying to flip it from Biden to Trump. I follow the law, that if someone broke the law in Fulton County, Georgia, um, that I have a duty to prosecute. If that Georgia indictment comes down, we expect it to happen relatively soon. In Washington, D.C., Rachel Knapp reporting.